Right. If for me, it's like, oh, you don't want to go to stadium, and, I'll, and then they'll like want to go rock paper scissors. I'm like, dude, you can, you can strike first. I don't care. Like, <laughs> it's like, look, I want to ban two stages. <laughs> nah, see, usually my thing is, I, I don't care. I just walk up and be like, look, just don't take me to Yoshi's and don't take me to Lilat. I'm down with anything else. Yo, I got the read on Nomex. Let's go, Bowser Jr. And it's like actually Bowser Jr. too. It's not like. I got the right alternate too. No. Nope. Oh dang. Wait. Is yeah. No why are we gonna on... fight me? Is he gonna change colors just to spite me? <laughs> Don't do this to me, bro. We're also in just a, a regular FD version of a, of one of these <laughs> Animal oh, Crossing stages, so I don't know. So what someone probably happening. accidentally uh, hit Omega version. I'm guessing. Yep. The beauty of Wi-Fi. All right. So Lucario Jr., two characters that are very unpopular. Uh, Especially Lucario. I think I see more Bowser Juniors right. running around as opposed to Lucario. Hundred percent. I, I know. Juniors. I know. Anti. I know. Anti was on Lucario for a, a while when Ultimate first started out. Yeah. But uh, that slowly died down because you know Lucario. He's he's not exactly. What you would think back when you saw him in Smash 4 when he was a real menace, and you know, even Sue not even rocking him that much. I mean, Sue just rotating between a bunch of different characters. He's just not the same, and you want to take advantage of that big power buff that he gets from his aura, but here in Ultimate, like, so many characters just kill you even before you can even take advantage of it. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, it's super rough. Um, Lucario got so much of his things nerfed before coming into Ultimate, so just a lot of his confirms got hit from like the trophy and stuff. But Junior actually, you know, he still has all these crazy combos, and I think this game is just like better for him. Hmm. I, I definitely I mean, don't I think, think he's Junior's like a super good character, and I don't see why he's not as popular. Yeah, I mean, there's there's people that do pretty good work with him. Um, I know Ooh, Soka has a, has a Junior in um, catch up. Yeah. On PR, so there's there's definitely uh, some juniors coming up on some local PRs. Right now, though, wow, these guys are just swinging at each other already at kill percent for both of them. Uh, junior, maybe not so much, 98, but Lucario has the rage on deck, so he's essentially at kill percent. It's actually so here. fortunate that the cannonball wasn't uh, oh! active anymore. But there we go, force palm right at the ledge. You were not living from that. Yeah, Nomex um, jab or mass jab after the forward air, and K11 just kind of got out of there. With Why the did they do 20? Yeah, that did quite the bit of damage there. I mean, it, it, it is a uh, slower command grab, so. Oh, man, just jumping right out of there, and look at all this pressure. Wow, that did 40? <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> K11 took all this damage to become a real character, so he, he's going in right now. Oh, I thought the up killed him. I thought the up killed him. <laughs> I was like, no way am I witnessing this. <laughs> okay, but no, he hits him. only has a hitbox at the uh, at the tail end of it, so he, he was still right. in the position where he was just accelerating. Right, right. Oh, okay, going up and over. Wow. He actually grabbed Junior's jab, which was really funny. I'm surprised that's not counted as a disjoint. No, I got away from the boxing mitt. Yeah, in this kind of situation, you're not too worried against the car. It's like, oh, he's slow damage. Like, even if I lose neutral, I'm not going to be that much damage. Yeah, I mean, at that too, you don't even have to be afraid of really just losing your stock. It's just because back air isn't going to kill until, oh my goodness, I think I like got 120 plus uh, based on the lack of aura that he has. Yep. Okay, here comes the damage. With the damage comes the aura, though, so now Nomex has to be a little bit more careful here. Can definitely lose his stock. Oh! Okay, wow, the counter didn't really, it did do um, a good amount of damage. The counter on the Mecha Koopa is something that Nomex is gonna have to be aware of. Oh, wow, he wow, lived. One more time, but this time off of the, uh, the Koopa cart. Yep, and there he is, kind of conditioned that shield there and got the side V off. Really good read coming out from K11. And again with this lead, and he's got some playroom to work with in terms of like percentage. He's like at that sweet spot where it's like, okay, like, I've got a decent amount of rage, so, like, I'm threatful, but I'm not quite ready to die yet. Honestly, just because K11 possesses the Aura Sphere, it's really stopped Nomex from trying to come in with the cart approach. Just because he can just toss it out and it completely just stuffs him. Yeah. 
but that was a very unfortunate SD from K11, and Nomex is just taking the opportunity so far. Yeah, look at this turnaround, man. Nomex only at 10% pretty much, and he has done so much damage. And that's the one thing about Junior that is very, very scary is the character's damage output. Once he gets that side B going, get those up air chains going, you're just taking so much damage. There's a side B here, going up and under. Yeah, Nomex is just full control over this game. Or at least the stock, because, I mean, K K11 was the one with a little, little bit more control in the earlier part, first half yeah. of the game. And K11 was unable to go ahead and punish the, the card attempt right there. Wasn't expecting the the spin out to actually go past him through his shield. This is last stock, last hit, though. <laughs> no, he did it again! Oh. And w was that a directional air dodge? It was a directional air dodge up, and that's how he lost his second stock as well. Just no. way too much lag when you do it from that height. I think he's just trying to go ahead and cancel his charge, but he's still holding up at the time. And, you know, stuff happens like that. Yeah, that's so unfortunate. He was uh, he, he was in the driver's seat the whole time, and then back-to-back -back SDs on second stock and third stock. But, you know what? Any, any, you got you got to take it. Yeah, I, I, it. I don't think what he's trying to do is bad uh, per se. I just think he needs to slow down his inputs and really just take it one step at a time. Like, go ahead and cancel your Aura Sphere charge and then go for that up B. I think right now he's trying to hit it and then immediately go for that up B. Yeah. All right, so we'll see if we get any character switches. I, I feel like I doubt it. I, I feel like we'll just keep the same characters. Both both players look pretty comfortable. Outside of the two SDs, look very comfortable on their characters here. So we'll see though. Both of them did exit the ring here. Yeah, K11's already back though, so I think he just wants to go pick the stage um, that Nomex is picking, or or even to go hit random. Who knows? But we're gonna hop into this next game now, and there's no character switch. I'm just going to go ahead and stick it out. And I think this is the right call because K11 was in the driver's seat. He was in the lead. He was playing the game how he wanted to. And Nomex was really just trying to catch on to him. But after those two SDs, it really just went downhill for him. Yeah. All right. So, But we're going to start things off here in Pokemon Stadium 2. That is the stage. Usually you see this uh, for game number one, but we see it coming out as a counter pick here. Nomex starting things off with that... Very solid damage output I was talking about the Junior possesses. Once he kind of lands that side B, the damage just starts coming. Yeah, it's a very strong start for Nomex. And he's trying to rack up a little more damage, coming down aggressively with that down air, but not even close to hitting the shield or anything. So it was a quick punish out from K11, but he finds himself at the ledge. And wow, still able to go ahead and air dodge past the exploding clown card. Yeah, that was, that was really big. That probably would have been the stock. I know Lucario can is a little heavier there. Surviving the back air, and this is where Lucario wants, like, what he, what he wants, essentially. He wants to be able to survive at these very high percents, and then just bring it back with one solid hit, or one solid punish here. Oh, the up smash. And Nomax knows that he's trying to take the stock, but center stage? What? <laughs> From center stage, this man lost his stock from the side beam. Jeez. You know what? Go Lucario. I'm okay with it. Oh, man. And Lucario is definitely one of those characters that it's it's uh, very fun to watch, very very exciting to commentate. Oh, he actually he might die. No. Wow. Like, yeah, the, yeah rapid, the rapid jab on Junior is actually something you have to be wary of uh, if you don't Does know, ladies kill? and gentlemen. Yeah, 200%, I hope it kills. Right, right. And I mean, I've seen Junior, you know, jab kill it around like 110 ish, like by the edge. So, definitely a really good ledge trapping tool as well. You just, you know, having a jab that kills is definitely uh, a luxury most characters don't have. Ooh, that's a slick conversion. You know, using the down throw to let the Mecha Koopa come to him and get that extra damage as well. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the up B trap here. Back throw right back off here. And again, Nomex is the one. Oh, and gets the counter. K11 try to get that going, but a very nice punish coming out from Nomex. Oh my goodness. Continuously, you see K11 just opting 
to use the up B to land on stage very early, but the only issue with that, he has so much end, end lag at the tail end of it that it's giving Nomex so many opportunities to get a free punish, and that's why he keeps losing these stocks and finds himself at such a deficit right now. Yeah, this, this is this is like a okay. This side B should do the trick here. This is like a super tilting situation because K11 was the one that like, uh, you know, he, he should have won game one or like he had a really good chance of winning game one. Mm -hmm. um, and then now like you're behind. Oh man, is that enough? Wow, yep. it is. And that's how you take out Lucario there. Nomex playing that game He's so well. We saw him. Really, like, we didn't really see Lucario get to that, like, 150%, where it's just, like, maybe, like, on the first stock, but 